Toddlers love to babble, but what exactly is all this unlanguage about? Toddlers are weird. I mean, they're our human larva. They're our beloved spawn, but they're also our alien enemies. In our finer moments, we try to reach out and understand these little creatures that we're raising, and other times it's more a matter of understanding the creatures we wage war against in our homes. So, what are they saying as they babble on while pointing at a tree or playing with their hands or just riding along in their strollers? Babbling is, of course, the road to language. A child might not be able to replicate any identifiable words, but they're experimenting with the sounds of language. Think of it as an abstract outline of the thing itself. A recent study from Newcastle University sheds even more light on all of this drooly nonsense speak. The researchers made recordings of tens of thousands of utterances from French children ages 23 to 37 months. They analyzed the babble, but they also analyzed the context. They noted a pattern of sounds, pauses, and puffs of air that seem to stand in for grammatical words. As such, these findings suggest that toddlers may properly use simple words like as, a, and, can, and is sooner than previously thought. So our larval humans may understand the grammatical world a little better than we previously thought. It's like when a toddler grabs hold of the household broom and fails miserably at sweeping the floor. There are things they understand to some degree, yet they lack the ability to mimic it fully. So while they can't articulate complex sentences, according to a separate 2011 study from the University of Liverpool, children as young as 21 months can match made-up nonsense verbs with real pictures in a way that makes grammatical sense. The example cited in the study was, quote, the rabbit is glorping the duck. Word of caution, never glorp a duck. So there you have it. I know that some of you, like me, have toddlers in your life, so I'm curious. What were the first real words they added to their vocabulary? And then which nonsense words stuck around the longest? I'd love to hear from you about this. You can leave a comment below, you can leave a video response, and don't forget to glorp that subscribe button so we can keep these videos flowing at you.